Well, looks like I won't be doing Thanksgiving. Turns out I'm all out of time. Hey, how's it going? It's Martin Ross, and today is a very, very special day. Today is a very special request. Happy birthday to you. I miss you. Shout out to you. You know who you are. Uh, we will be breaking down Tyler, the Creator's Jamba. Before we get into it, please check out all the links in the description. I am an artist. I do make music too as well. Check that out. If you like any of these sounds, check out my Zor Sound Library. Links are there as well in the description. Also, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, subscribe. Click the bell so that way updates get straight to your device. And most important, share. Share the video to someone you think might like it. Help me grow my channel. We've almost hit 5K, and I thank you so much for the shares, the comments, and the likes. You have been helping me out, and I really appreciate all you out there who subscribe and view my channel. Thanks so much. Without further ado, let's break down Tyler the Creator's Jamba. So we're going to break down Tyler the Creator's Jamba at... Uh, 159.39 BPMs. I don't really know the key, maybe A flat. Um, so the notes that I'm going to be utilizing the most is going to be the E flat, the G flat, uh, really the E flat and the G flat, and I'm doing octaves. Now I'll go down half a step in the bass to a D, uh, F, and a D, really. Those are the main notes I'm going to be using. So I'll play the bass for you. You can check it out. Going down a half step. Again, just three notes. I got E flat, G flat, and then I have D, F, and then back to the D, same note. So let's hear what it sounds like. Going down a half step. So this low subs is just utilizing that bottom note, which is E flat and D. So in the the hook part, uh, essentially we're going to go to the uh, D flat, and uh, we'll go D flat. We'll do looks like an E back to a E flat and then end back to a D flat. So it's gonna go something like this. All right, and I'll play that back. Okay, so throughout the song, there's like two effects. There's the owl, and then there's the, the uh. And the owl's going to go like every third beat, and the uh is always going to be on the, the, the one. During the verses, when the verse loops, right before the verse loops, you'll have a sub, and the sub I'm using is an E flat. And it's just, that's it. For another sound effects, it's just the gunshot or explosion. That's it. And that's going to be on the, uh, the beginning of the song, and that's it. So my favorite part of this is the hook, and the hook uses two chords, and the chords are going to be, looks like a E major 7 to a G major 7, and those notes are going to be E, uh, you could say A flat, B, and then E flat, and then the next chord is a G, B, D, and you could say G flat. So something like this, here we go. That's it. I'll play it back. In the hook, the arpeggios that I'm using is a G flat, a D flat, a B, back to a G flat, and then I'll end on an E flat. That's all I'm playing. Let's hear it. In the hook, there's voice oohs, and the voice oohs, or ahs, or whatever you want to call them, the vocal samples, is going to be an A flat, G flat, and an E flat. And it's just, that's it, I'll play it back. All right, you know what it is. It's time for the drums. But before we do any of that, if you've gotten this far, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe, and click that bell. So before we break down the drums, it's really simple. 
Do not quantize at all in this song. It's just a kick, a snare, and a clap. The snare I pitched down, so it sounds kind of wet. But essentially, it's just three, you know, drum pieces. Not at all quantized. It's just, just play how you feel. Essentially, that's how I felt the song was. So the entire song, I did not quantize. I just played how I felt. It was actually pretty fun to do. It's not always you get to do that. It's kind of got that... I wouldn't say goofy vibe, but it's got a vibe to it. So let's hear what the drums sound like. So that's it. We've got it. Before we play it, you subscribed, right? Like, comment, click the bell, right? You're about to share, right? (laughs) So we're all done. We've dissected the beat. Let's hear what it sounds like. Let's go over to the hook. I love those chords. All right, and there you have it. We broke down Tyler the Creator's Jamba by special request. Happy birthday goes straight to you, sir. You have a good one. I hope all is well. If you've gotten this far in the video, again, I can't stress the thank you for getting the... uh, the notice, getting the subscriptions and all that kind of stuff and helping my channel grow, y'all mean a lot to me. So if you've gotten this far, please help me out. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let's get that algorithm going. Subscribe, click the bell. And if you know somebody that's interested in this, share it. So this is Martin Ross breaking down Tyler, the creator's Jamba. Y'all take care.